Locks, Shady One. Thank you guys so much. Uh, yeah, Cloak Brand. <laughs> it is a good day to have a good day. So there was this. I was also thinking if you guys wanted, I could go, th go through the, uh, the streamer awards. Or whatever. So. I also like that they allow you to skip categories if you want. Best Battle Royale Street. Oh, I'm going to play music while I do this. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Best Battle Royale Streamer. I am the most clueless when it comes to this. So I'm going to skip. Best GTRP streamer, streamer that provides the best GTA roleplay. Mm. They are all really, really great. But I also have to say, like, all three of these streamers, people that I love, um, they also do a lot of other things. I feel like Buddha deserves it, you know? Like, he's been playing GTA for years. It's, like, his thing, you know? And I hope he wins. <laughs> Best roleplay streamer, streamer that does roleplay content in games like, oh, I'm gonna be honest, I'm clueless. Oh no, I do want to say like, Critical Role has been at the top of roleplay for a really long time. But then again, this says RP content in games like blah, blah, blah. No, I still think they deserve it. Best League Legends streamer, streamer that provides the best content while streaming League of Legends. I'm, I'm sorry. It's got to go to Tyler. I love Emmy. Double's a friend. I love Lily. But it's got... It has to be Tyler. He lives and breathes League of Legends. He just got Challenger in like all five roles. I just... You can't be more League of Legends than that. Best FPS streamer. Ah! Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh. I feel like Tens is amazing, but he's like, he's Valo primarily. And I kind of feel bad because from the screenshots that I saw, there are quite a few pro players in some of these lists, but I think it's really unfair because pro players are forced to focus on one game and they can't stream as much as a streamer. I feel like there should have just been a pro player category so we could choose in that. Um, I gotta say, Shroud is still kingpin, you know? Shroud, dude! Aimbot Shroud, dude! Best just chatting streamer. <sighs> I would give it to Hassan if there was a political category, but Miz is king of just chatting. He basically... He runs his show like it's Ellen or Oprah, but it's Miz and I'm so disgusted with myself for just comparing Miz to Ellen and Oprah or comparing Ellen and Oprah to Miz. I'm so sorry, my queens. <laughs> but, you know, like he's all about just chatting content. So I for sure think he wins that. Best VTuber streamer. Oh, I really, I like all of them. But I also don't know enough about the VTuber streamer world to be able to choose. So I don't want to. But they're all really great. Um, Code Miko, I really like that her... Um, that her model is a little like more 3D than all the other ones and almost a little more realistic. But Iron Mouse has achieved so many amazing things this year. So she probably deserves it a bit. And unfortunately, I just don't know the other two enough. I'm to say so yeah best strategy game streamer streamers that create the best content while playing strategy games like dota tft okay god damn that's hard the thing is scara is really really great with tft content but i don't think he plays like hearthstone or super auto pets um, I know Toast has played all of them, but I also know Boxbox go crazy with that shit. So if anything, for me, it's between Toast and Boxbox, but I don't know which. Right? 
Does Boxbox play, does he focus on strategy games? Because I feel like for Toast and Boxbox, they both play a lot of things. So I would basically pick whoever devotes more of their time to strategy games. I'm not sure who that is. Like, I'd have to check their streaming hours or something. Boxbox, box, box for sure. Yeah, if anything, it's tough because, like, it's good to do more variety, but it also takes you out of, like, categories like this, which I do think Toast has been doing a ton of variety, and that's great. I do think Boxbox Box kind of hones in on strategy games a little bit more at this point. Best ASMR streamer? I don't know. I want to do it for the memes, but I'm not going to do it. Best music streamer? Like, Lily has my heart, dude. But also, again, it's a situation where Lily, Toast, whoever, like, they do so many things. I, I do kind of want to pick T-Pain. Like, he's, he's literally an artist. And if anything, I think it's so cool that a super, like, high-level mainstream artist streams on Twitch so often. Like, that's insane. But, yeah. For best music streamer, it makes sense to be someone who does music all the time. Valili, you have my heart. Best chess streamer. I think I gotta go with Hikaru. Yeah. I really like Gotham. I haven't watched Nemsko or Botez as much. And I do think Botez try to do kind of variety stuff, which is good for them. But I think Hikaru like lives and breathes. Like, truly lives and breathes. Yes. Streamer that creates the best IRL content, such as vlogging, traveling, cooking, visiting places. Oh, this one's hard. I don't think I can... I just don't think I'm well-versed enough to be able to vote for one of these. They all do amazing shit. And they all travel so much. Especially Jake and Hachu. And I know Ginny has done a lot, but I haven't watched her stream enough to know. Sadly. Like, to know in detail. I do know Rob CD. I actually think I've met him, but I don't know him personally or content wise too much. I'm trying to think if I feel like someone has gone above and beyond in this last year. And if so, I would actually think it's Hachu or Ginny. Because I feel like because of the, uh, because of COVID and quarantine, Jake hasn't done as much IRL stuff. Hmm. But, <coughs> but also, it's been really freaking hard for them. I think I'm going to say Hachu because Hachu did IRL streaming where she lives. She came to LA. She went to Texas. I don't know if Ginny has done all that. She has. They do the same thing. Now I'm going to have to skip. I feel like they've all done a lot. Streamer that provides the best content while speedrunning games. Where's, um... Never mind. <laughs> I legit have no vote, but I kind of want to vote simply just because his picture looks so funny <laughs> and because someone can clip this and send it to simply the show i'm voting for him best super smash streamer mm, i would not know all cool peeps though best minecraft streamer most enjoyable streamer Like, duh. Speed runs. Makes big, beautiful houses. Really good at gardening. 
How could you not vote for him? Most entertaining streamer that plays MMO games. I think Asmin owns that category, dude. He birthed that category. Best Valor stream. Now, on the real, though, this category is tough, and let me tell you why. Timmy, amazing Valorant player, but also he plays a lot of stuff, so he didn't, like, super go deep into just Valo. Puns um, also has been very Valo-heavy, but only for the last, like, couple or a few months. Um, there's me. <laughs> and there's Jody as well. But... Sometimes it's tough because, like, also, I just don't get to watch everybody. So I'm going to skip just because, I mean, like, it's weird to vote for a category. You're <laughs> oh, I was going to say, oh, my God. Okay, I watched Saikuno do this yesterday. I think it was yesterday. And I thought it was really cute because he voted for me. And he said this is why he was like... <laughs> He was like, Pokey is one of the only people who will just play Valorant solo queue and talk to random people. And when he said that, I processed it from an objective pers perspective. And I was like, am I fucking crazy? Why do I do that shit? <laughs> Wait, is, why do I do that? Huh? Why do I subject myself to such pain? Oh, someone said Tark. Actually, I do think Tark should be on this list. And I think Tark, like, to be fair, he's been going ham maybe the last like six months or so. So it's tough because it maybe hasn't been a full year, if I'm remembering correctly. But Tark has been doing like amazing in both the Valo and CSGO category, but mainly playing Valo. So, I mean, maybe next year. <laughs> any pro any valo pro should be on that list that streams regularly it's hard to say that though because this is about valo content right so when you think about it it's like i feel like there just should have been an fps uh, sorry a professionals category because pros have to scrim all day like they can't provide the same amount of content that a streamer can Oh, uh, actually, John. Yeah, John, Kaide. There's a lot of, like, pretty good Valo content. Bro. John. John's fucking insane. I low-key wish John streamed more during the day. Because I think his, like, his meme-tastic content, as well with just how fucking cracked he is at Valo, like, he deserves more eyeballs, you know? Either way, I am very honored to be nominated. So, much love, yeah. But also, I told Cutie this, I was like... When this all came out, I was like, Oh, I didn't want to promo it too much because, like... I'd rather other people win stuff. I just don't go hard in the paint for award ceremonies. Which is why I'd be surprised if I ever won anything. But I just don't go hard in the paint because I'm like, oh, I want people to... I'm gonna win. <laughs> that aren't me. I won something like a three years ago. I'm good for the rest of my life. <laughs> um, I do think Jack Septic. Davy underscore sure. kid cheered 200 bits. Wait till you go down to the best variety streamer category. There's one person who shouldn't deserve to be on that list. There's a bunch of others who deserved Tet Spot like Lyric or Soda Poppin, but sadly they didn't make it. There's one person who shouldn't be on this list. Who shouldn't be on this list? Because the way I see it is like Lud, Toast, and Ray, all good friends of mine, I think they all make like a similar amount of variety content <laughs> but charlie <laughs> he's on another 
level. Like, he'll actually play the most random fucking shit. He'll play the most random fucking shit. <laughs> so he extra deserves to be on that list. So the way that I see it is the differentiating factor is let Toast Ray all are variety streamers. However, they mainly... Uh, mainly, not only, but mainly play variety games that either people want them to play or group things, which is fine, obviously. But I feel like Charlie will do both. He'll play shit with groups. He'll play weird shit alone. If anything, I do think Soda Poppin really deserves to be in this category as well. If there was a fifth. But that doesn't mean that I would take anybody out of that, of this category. I don't really think that's fair because they, everybody else is on a pretty similar level. Oh, I agree. Soda and X. Actually, true. X does play a lot of shit. Yeah. But Soda Pop and even more so. Yeah. Um, best streamed event. The most entertaining. Oh, wait. Did I? Oh. Best streamed event, the most entertaining, interesting, or enjoyable collaborative event streamed during the past year. I'll go with ShitCon. Stream game of the year. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Look at Valorant. <laughs> oh, man. Well, this is so subjective. I fucking love Valorant. Like, it owns my heart. You know what I mean? Um, but obviously, I'm not going to pick Apex. Minecraft is like game of the year every year, but low key. Like, Minecraft is going to come and go. Then again, you could argue the same for GTA. GTA has been around for years, and it always kind of comes and goes. Valorant is newer, but Valorant did come out like two years ago, technically, so. I guess maybe GTA? <laughs> okay, on the real though, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Um, I think 100 Thieves and NRG, both great orgs, but you just can't compete with orgs that only do content. If you're doing esports and other stuff, again, it's like it's like Toast being in just strategy games. Like he does too many things now to just be in that category. And I think for content, it's the same thing with orgs. Um, for OTK and OTV, I actually I love OTK. I think they've had an amazing year, and like it makes me oddly proud to see them do so much especially in the twitch scene like it makes you really really happy um i'm just obviously biased because it's otv but i will say that they've had an insane last year and otv has been around for like much longer so it's tough like is this a yearly thing is this a forever thing either way i think yeah it's all the same but obviously i'm biased <laughs> League of their own. This streamer is a pioneer that creates one-of-a-kind one content with their creativ creativity and out-of-the-box thinking. They are a trailblazer in the streaming industry. Someone who relies on themselves for their content ideas and is genuinely in a league of their own. I actually want to say Sushi Dragon. Uh, I'll be honest, though. I don't know so much about these two streamers. I know Kit Boga and I know what he does. I think you guys just must not know Sushi Dragon that well. This guy has like, he rigs a stream deck to himself. He has cameras like this, like this, a back, like he does so much. So that is someone who I'd say, I don't know anyone else who makes content like that. It's really one of a kind. And the creativity and out of the box thinking, like he has a whole garage set up to just stream or like not a garage it's like a storage unit just for setting up crazy stream shit so yeah i'm sorry i don't know as much about these two streamers so i'll be voting sushi dragon but oh i think Jerma has done a lot of really cool things he did that big irl event so 
Uh, this is biased in the sense that I don't know as much about everybody else, but I do think he deserves a vote. <clears throat> Rising Star Award. <laughs> I also, I can't compare these. But here's my plan. I'm going to vote. Is, is it pronounced Froggen? Frogan? Because it's basically like voting Miskiff. And this way, I can hold this over Miskiff and say that he owes me one. Because it's like I voted for him. Legacy Award. Thank you, by the way. Um, I will say that I feel like Legacy... Okay, let me pause, because sometimes it's hard to properly collect my thoughts when I'm hearing music. I feel like Legacy essentially depends on what generation you're a Legacy to. So I do feel like, although I am absolutely honored to be nominated for this, um, I feel like maybe I'll be, I hope to be, at like legacy status in like a few years. Um, oh, I was going to say you're a legend. Thanks, man. But I do feel like at least for me personally, the person I would give this to is absolutely Soda Poppin. And let me tell you why. Soda has been streaming like since Twitch create was created okay when i started streaming i looked to soda when i grew i looked to soda even today i looked to soda and this dude is still out here collabing with hella people doing new things playing a variety of game maintaining steady viewership like he does so much and he's been doing it for so much for so long and not just that but like way back in the day he was one of the first few streamers who kind of molded the streaming space very similar to recful people who kind of normalize things like donation buttons or like sub goals or this or that like he has really been here since the beginning and not enough people give him credit for it nowadays in my opinion because maybe not as much of the newer generation knows him but y'all this man put among us on the map <laughs> among us owes him a commission <laughs> like that's crazy and why because he plays everything all the time forever all the time anyway so that's why soda gets my vote and i'm sorry someone in chat called him xqc with a nose job <laughs> davy underscore kid cheered 200 bits i wasn't being serious chat I was meaning but I just felt Soda Poppin should have at least had a spot maybe because he plays games hardly anyone Thanks plays. Thanks for apologizing. But all I the agree. Soda guys are all amazing. But I also wasn't don't know being if I serious when I said that it. BTW. Forgive me chat XQCL. Streamer that has extraordinary gaming abilities and has excelled at games over the past year. No matter what game they're playing, you just have to watch. Is it bad that I... I actually feel like this should go to Timmy. But let me explain why. Tens, amazing gamer, but he mainly plays Valorant, right? So we kind of have yet to see him play other things. Um, Shroud, ugh, fuck, it's Shroud or Timmy for me. Shroud is Shroud, okay? It's like, you know those chess bots that you play against? That's Shroud, but for like all games. Timmy, though, I really feel like Timmy has put himself on the map over the last years. Over the last year, especially with Valorant, especially with Apex, especially with other FPS games, he will do these like crazy bronze to immortal type of challenges. Like it's insane. Asu, I know is amazing, but I actually don't know. It. Like I haven't watched his stream enough. I think he mainly plays Apex, right? That's, that's your, like here's the thing gamer of the year what i imagine is like someone who excels at numerous games i feel like asu really excels at apex does he play valo much like essentially tell me which out of these three plays the most games competitively and that's who i think should win unfortunately tens again it sucks because like he's a valorant pro he is forced to mainly play valorant Shroud. Okay, then I'd, I'd probably have to say Shroud. Mm -mm -mm. 
Fuck. <coughs> I want to vote for Timmy in kind of a biased way, just because over the last year, I feel like he's done a lot. Um, but also, Shroud is Shroud. Damn, it's hard. You know, I, I, I think it's tough because I'm doing this in front of you guys. So, like, there's a, uh, there's a level of you guys are judging my decision. But obviously, this is, like, an individual case-by-case -case basis. So, y'all vote for whoever you want. From what I've watched personally, and I've just watched more Timmy. So, I really, I want to give it to him. Streamer of the year. The best overall streamer for the past year. They saw great success with their entertaining content, elevated their brand in general, left their mark on viewers. This was their year. This is tough because Lud and Saikuno, both really great friends of mine. Like, I really, really like them, their brands, their content a lot. But I guess this is meant to be streamer of the year. Like, this was their year. And I do feel like Miz has had a really, really, really incredible year both with his personal channel, as well as everything he's done with OTK. I gotta give it to him. I really hope he's not watching because I don't want him to think I fucking like him or anything. Fuck you, Miz. But he has done really great. <laughs> he has done really, 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 like, insane things. And the thing, that, the thing that I love about it is that he does it with other people, whether it's his org or other people on his stream. I really feel like he's, like in the last year specifically, and that he's tried to go outside of his comfort zone, which is really great. However, I just don't think there's any competing with XQC in this point in time. Like, X just remains on another level above almost all streamers in our streamed, in variety, in like community. Like you can even tell on his viewership, like it's insane. Insane. Bellivision tipped $2, voted for you for legacy streamer because you are a huge reason why women plus are inspired to create content on Twitch and other streaming platforms. I hope you know how much you have helped so many content creators. Less than three also your makeup is 10,000 tenths today. Thanks. Man, I read, um, I read a message. So you guys know how I did that, like, I think it was a 100k scholarship giveaway with Intel. And there were all these applications that we had to go through. And one of them, like a, a girl wrote a letter to me specifically. And it made me cry. It was so cute. It was so freaking cute. And so I just want to say, like, your guys' support means so, so, so much. And knowing that, like, I can make people more comfortable doing things that they want to do and more comfortable with themselves makes me really, really happy. Thanks. Um, anyway, so, yeah, I do think Miz has had an outstanding year. Um, but X is, again, just, like, in a league of his own right now. And I don't know how... You could really, I don't know how anybody could compete with that until you're doing 24 hours regularly. Like, it's hard. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to vote X. Oh, this one is tough because it's also like this was their year. I do feel like this was Mrs. Year, but like, it's also like, yeah, well, it's still X. Anyways, if I could, I would give it to both of them. Um, but yeah. Purely off of like variety of things that they do and length of streams and like intensity. And Michael streaming. underscore Jordan After cheered 200 bits. Nice. Pokimane, just vote for yourself because you are the best. 